I tell people I used to be a Bible school teacher. They know I chant and meditate like prayer. My soul is constantly realigning. My silence is not quiet. There is peace and thunderstorms, natural disasters, and a broken heart. From pain, I have learned this spirit can sing so loud it can drown out the rest of me. Most days, I have been letting her. I am still healing. Being black, woman, queer, and inclusive, I have a couple issues with the Bible and the people who throw its words like baseballs rushing to home plate, trying to get everyone out, like giving out tickets to hell is their life's purpose. Who gave them the audacity to play umpire when they are not immortal? As a child, I struggled with regurgitating information. People bigger than me plated to consume. Still now, I read with suspecting eyes, listen, but always verify I do not give trust easily. I have always been a roaming non-believer until I looked into your giving eyes. I see God in you. When you close your eyes to pray, I imagine what loving you would feel like. If if we would paint oceans with our passions, make love with our dreams, latching on to each other, lifting each other up with us, latching on to each other, lifting each other up, because we both just want each other to make it when you fall. Any time after the first, it is intentional, cautious, a series of calculations. The probability of waking up one day without you is high, but I still take the chance to hold you. At 3.22 a.m., I feel your breath on the nape of my neck when you fall. Any time after the first, it is hand in hand on bumpy roads, knowing at any point a pothole may actually be a black hole for your soul and you may never see yourself again. After the last time, I could barely recognize myself. Thought I would never see myself again, but I see my heart beating within yours. We are reflections crafted from the same star, and I loved you. Lifetimes ago knew we would find our way back to each other to be reminded. So tell me, do you remember me? If you do, I will not define this, confine you to a mason jar and a pink rose flattened in our favorite book. I will keep you, if only in my arms, if you swear on every heart you've ever touched to come back from me. Promise, reincarnation will always bring us back together. I will keep these assurances in the safe of our soul. And I will be waiting for you in another body next lifetime. Mm -hmm.